Works out. Let's go ahead and get on Bring with it. this. Here we go. Okay, so check this out. Okay. Um, the Washington State oh, wow. Highway Patrol, yeah, okay. they got a bit of a scare, as you can see, <laughs> when they spotted an unusual passenger in that carpool lane. So this was a creepy clown <laughs> dummy, though. Carpool lane, yeah. of course. Trooper Rick Johnson <laughs> spotted a driver with the dummy in the passenger yep, seat. Yep. He pulled him over. Now, those lanes, of course, used for vehicles with more than one passenger in them. <laughs> and some crazy. drivers try to use <laughs> dummies. Sure. To do. save some time. Yep. I mean, yeah. And they beat the traffic. Now, Trooper Johnson said he loved the Halloween vibe, but it still doesn't count, what? Ron. It doesn't. He said, no, <laughs> he's not going for that. The driver got a ticket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with an extra, not even that, with an extra fine what? for using a dummy. Yes. Yeah, but what a cool, tried. creepy dummy for Halloween. I know. I mean, <laughs> maybe he's afraid it'd scare the kids. That's Here's the scary. thing, though. Me, That's creepy. Now, does it say you Clowns have to have, don't bother oh, me, but that one does. That, no. <laughs> Well, no, most clowns don't bother me. Me neither. Uh, but man. that one is oh. creepy. I think ever since the movie It with Pennywise, yeah. I think a lot of clowns have mm. creeped a lot of people out. But I will say this, though. What? Credit for ingenuity. He should have uh, yeah. got him some kind of bonus for ingenuity. Something. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> Maybe he didn't. You know, did it say it had to be a live passenger? I don't, I don't know. I, you know. They, he just said no. He wasn't going for this. Gave him a ticket oh, and a right. fine. I like it. Now, look at this. We're still on the Halloween trend. A house used in the filming of a horror classic is now up for sale. This okay. is the house where Jamie Lee Curtis's character yes. lived in the original Halloween. Halloween yeah. The movie takes place in the fictional town of Haddonfield, Illinois. Yep. Uh, but this house is really in South Pasadena. California, as right. you can imagine, and briefly uh, shown in a scene where Curtis sits on a front garden wall with a pumpkin on her lap. Yeah. Her showdown with Michael Myers uh, happens in a different house uh, where her character is babysitting. Uh, but the 5,200 square foot property is listed for $1.8 million. So we're watching uh, the scene right now. You know, as cool as that movie was, and oh, by the way, it was directed by a Kentuckian. He was oh, born, really? yeah, John Carpenter. And the and house he was, was in Illinois. Look from, at all these. He's from Bowling Green. Yeah, a lot of like yeah, local, local ties local here, ties. even though it was out in Pasadena. Right. I will say this though: 1.8 billion is probably chump change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think the needed. house should probably <laughs> right. be worth more. <laughs> right. I mean, you'll see You're these, right like, out there. That's not <laughs> like that Like one-story ranches, right. maybe 500 square feet, exactly. going for about that much. At money. least a million. Yeah, at least a million. Okay, let's do it. Let's have our quick check-in with what Angie is up to. This is a marvel in this world of ours. This is the Pont de God, the aqueduct the Romans built around the year 50 AD. Now think about that. Think about the engineering. And it is a tribute to the brilliance of Roman engineers. Stacking those stones, creating those arches, and there's no cement. There's nothing in between them. Just very clever engineering. Pont de Gard brought water to the city of Nimes from miles and miles away. Genius. And this is the top of the aqueduct where the water ran through. And this channel, this tunnel, is where all of that water gushed forth and ran to the city of Nimes. So all that water gushing down from that brilliant aqueduct comes to this place or came to this place in need and rushed through that big square hole filling this cistern. And then the other holes would send it out to fountains, etc. if there was more water. If not, then it was just the essentials. Think about the planning it took to put this together. And there's a couple yeah. of pictures, too, Pretty that cool. she uh, has sent very us. Cool. Aren't they cool? Get a little history lesson I know. Angie Thank you, that. Angie. I feel very educated I now. will look that... at a lot of old buildings and a lot of things like this and say, they built this back at a time. Right. There were no cranes. Oh, no. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> they were just people and oxen. Yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I mean, that's basically And like how she said, you, the amount of planning that they had to put yeah. into that and thought and yeah. just, yeah, pure genius. So. Pretty amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah, that is awesome. It. And we got